what is up guys EJ here back with another video and uh, today is going to be my DVD collection for 2012 and uh, part 3 the final part of the sci-fi section so uh, last time we finished with the R's so beginning with the S's we have uh, Serenity uh, from uh, 2005 great movie of course and I have still yet to watch Firefly which I must do at some point because I really enjoyed Serenity Okay, next we have uh, Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow from uh, 2004. Uh, really good film, great special effects, and uh, I really like the dialogue between uh, Jude Law, Gwyneth Paltrow, Angelina Jolie. Yeah, an interesting film, that's for sure. Next we have uh, Slaughterhouse Five from uh, 1972, directed by uh, George Roy Hill. Next we have uh, Source Code on uh, Blu-ray from uh, 2010, uh, good film with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Michelle Moynihan, and uh, Vera Farmiga. Next we have uh, Soylent Green from uh, 1973 with uh, Charlton Heston and Lee Taylor Young. I'm going to be uh, re-watching this uh, in a few months. Next we have uh, Space Cowboys from uh, 2000. Um, directed by Clint Eastwood and starring himself, uh, great old cast, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Donald Sutherland, and uh, James Garner. Uh, more of a drama, but like uh, like with Apollo 13, I put it in here. Next we have uh, Mel Brooks' uh, classic Spaceballs from 1987. Uh, just hilarious, absolutely love this film. Uh, I've seen it a bunch of times. Uh, John Candy, Rick Moranis. Uh, Bill Pullman, Daphne Zuniger, uh, just a great film. Oh man, this one's really stuck in there. Um, it's like when you take off the, uh, the security tape on the top, it makes it still sticky. Anyway, next we have uh, Species from uh, 1995 with uh, Natasha Henstridge. Um, yeah, good film for what I remember. I've never seen the sequels. I may have seen the second one, but I don't remember it at all. Taking the rest of the tape off. Next we have uh, Sphere from uh, 1998, um, pretty underrated Barry Levinson film with uh, Dustin Hoffman, Sharon Stone, and uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Next we have Star Trek, uh, the new one of course from 2009 with uh, Chris Pine. Uh, really looking forward to uh, the sequel this year. So yeah, not a Star Trek fan but I really enjoyed the new one and uh, yeah, looking forward to the new one. Okay, next we have the Star Wars original trilogy, of course. Uh, Star Wars from 1977, one of my all-time favorite films. Um, the Empire Strikes Back, I'll put a link to the review I did for that movie, uh, for the movie Reviewers 100. Um, and I like Return of the Jedi a lot. Uh, moving on, uh, we have Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace from 1999. Um, the first like big film I remember going seeing in the theaters. Um, that sort of started off my uh, my uh, my love affair with films again uh, when it came out in 1999 I went on opening weekend with a bunch of friends and I've been going to the movies ever since uh, next we have Star Wars Attack of the Clones of course from uh, 2002 and probably the best of the prequel trilogy um, episode 3 Revenge of the Sith uh, from 2005 Okay, moving on, we have uh, Stargate uh, from 1994 with uh, Kurt Russell and James Spader. Uh, some good effects and a good premise, but sort of falls apart a little bit towards the end, in my opinion. Okay, next we have Starship Troopers from uh, 1997, uh, Paul Verhoeven film with Casper uh, Van Dien. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed the first one, even though it has uh, Denise Richards in it. Um, yeah, it's an okay film. I haven't seen the sequels of those either. Uh, next we have Strange Days uh, from 1995, directed by uh, Catherine Bigelow, uh, with uh, Ray Fiennes, Angela Bassett, and uh, Juliette Lewis. Sort of a uh, millennium uh, film. Really good, actually. If you haven't seen that, I highly recommend it. Okay, moving on, we have uh, Sunshine, directed by uh, Danny Boyle from... Um, when this come out now? Like... Uh, I want to say 2007, but that seems very wrong. <laughs> I think it was more like 2004. Um, 
Yeah, 2007. Okay, I got it right the first time. Really cool film. I really like uh, Sunshine. Okay, next we have Super 8 from uh, 2011 on Blu-ray. Great film directed by Steven Spielberg. Um, well, produced by uh, Steven Spielberg. What am I saying? Uh, directed by J.J. Abrams. Um, yeah, just a great feel to it. Sort of reminded me of E.T. And the, the kid cast is really good. Especially, um, uh, what's her name? The uh, the other Fanning sister, Elle Fanning. I thought she was great in that. Next we have uh, Surrogates from um, 2008 uh, with uh, Bruce Willis. Pre pretty cool film. Um, yeah, I like the uh, the premise of that movie. Next we have Tarantula, uh, one of these uh, great bug movies from um, the 1950s. I believe this came out in 1955. Need to uh, watch that actually. Okay, next we have the uh, Terminator films. Get more comfortable here. Uh, the Terminator, the first one, is still my favorite from uh, 1984. Absolutely love that film. Of course, next we have T2, uh, Judgment Day from uh, 1991. Just awesome. The effects are incredible for its day. And yeah, still one of the greatest action sci-fi films of all time. Next we have uh, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines from uh, 2003. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this film, but I enjoy uh, quite a few parts of it, actually. Um, I like uh, Claire Danes in it, and um, what's her name is pretty good as uh, the female Terminator. And the action scenes are cool, especially that chase with all the trucks and ambulances. Um, yeah, it's a cool film. Uh, Terminator Salvation. Um, I actually enjoyed more than uh, Rise of the Machines, I think, with uh, Christian Bale and uh, Sam Worthington. But I haven't seen it since I saw it in the theaters, so it's been a while. Next we have uh, Them from uh, 1954, one of these uh, great bug movies as well. Uh, giant Ants, love those 50s, uh, classic 50s sci-fi films. Next we have John Carpenter's The Thing, of course, classic from uh, 1982. Um, yeah, I was not a fan of the uh, the recent remake, um, even though I like Mary Elizabeth uh, Winstead. It just sort of it was it was totally flat and pointless. Next, we have uh, the thing from Another World from uh, 1951, a great movie that the uh, the thing is sort of based on. Okay, next we have uh, the original The Time Machine from uh, 1960. Uh, Great adaptation of H.G. Uh, Wells classic. And yes, I also have the remake from uh, 2002 with uh, Guy Pearce. Not as good as the original by a long shot, but um, it's got some pretty cool effects. And uh, the original story is pretty much, pretty much the same. Next we have uh, Time Cop with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, from 1993. One of my favorite Van Damme films. Great movie about time travel. A lot of uh, movies and uh, remakes here. Next we have uh, Total Recall from uh, 1990. Uh, got the special tin edition. Um, yeah, one of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger films. Uh, just classic. And uh, I enjoyed the remake, uh, Total Recall, which came out last year. So I got it on Blu-ray with uh, Colin Farrell, uh, Kate Beckinsale, and Jessica Bill. Uh, some great action scenes, and I, the setting was good, and it, it paid a nice homage to the original, I thought. Okay, next we have the Transformer films. Uh, the first one from um, uh, 2007, probably my favorite of the three. Still a good movie, in my opinion, even though it's the characters are silly and so on. Revenge of the Fallen was sort of a joke. Um, yeah, I, don't, I haven't seen it since I, I first watched it. And lastly, we have uh, Dark of the Moon from um, 2011 on uh, Blu-ray. Really enjoyed the beginning with the uh, the moon stuff. And yeah, the beginning and the end of this film is great. The middle just was, was kind of ridiculous. Uh, but probably better than the second one, that's for sure. Okay, moving on down, we have uh, Tremors from uh, 1990. Classic, of course, with uh, Kevin Bacon. Uh, many people consider it a horror film, but I put it in sci-fi. Okay, next we have uh, Tron, a classic, of course, from uh, 1982 that I grew up watching. 
and um, yeah, I was really stoked that they were going to do a sequel for it, um, which came out in uh, 2011, uh, again on Blu-ray. Yeah, it was a very decent sequel. I loved the uh, the soundtrack by uh, Daft Punk, and um, not as good as the original, but still pretty cool. Next we have Ultraviolet with uh, Milo Jovovich from uh, 2005. Uh, not a great film, but sort of in the vein of uh, Eon Flux, which came out around the same time. It's Mila kicking ass, and I always go for that. Next we have V for Vendetta. Um, awesome film, of course, with uh, Natalie Portman and uh, Hugo, uh, Hugo Weaving. Yeah, just a great film. Uh. <laughs> that didn't help at all. Next we have Vanilla Sky from... Um, uh, 2001, great remake of uh, Open Your Eyes or Abre Los Olios. Um, yeah, Tom Cruise, Cameron Diaz, and Penelope Cruz, just uh, awesome in this film. Uh, directed by Cameron Crowe. Okay, next we have uh, the original The War of the Worlds from uh, 1953, uh, based on a novel by H.G. Wells. Again, this is one I'm going to be re-watching this year. Okay, next we have uh, Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds uh, remake from uh, 2005 with uh, Tom Cruise. Yeah, I thought it was great. Uh, Dakota Fanning, even though a lot of people don't like her screaming the whole time. She's a good good little actress and she was really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, next we have uh, Waterworld, uh, directed by Kevin Reynolds uh, from um, 1995. Of course, one of the biggest uh, bombs of all time with uh, Kevin Costner and Dennis Hopper. And last but not least, uh, we have uh, Westworld from uh, 1973, a film uh, written and directed by Michael Crichton. Also, I'm going to be uh, re-watching this this year. So uh, that is uh, my uh, sci-fi collection. Thank you for watching as always. Up next will be the uh, silent section. So until then, I'll see ya. Bye.